How does anyone love you? I'm the bravest scene. 
Have you ever listened to William Shatner's books on tape? What they do is they edit out all of his breathing. So the pace is so insane that it hurts your fucking mind. God damn you, Shatner. I take the bosses, girl. Oh, yeah, he'll mind. We gonna go out tonight and have a real good time with the bosses, girl. Not a thing in the world. Could have shown you. It's not that sad. It's not that sad. It's not that sad. It's not that sad. It's not. I take the bosses, girl.
reason we invited you yeah, over okay. here to your, now, to your own room well, is to... Okay, wait, uh, hold on. When you have a mic in your right hand, make sure you're enunciating with your left. Enunciate into the mic. <laughs> Legos, and you're like, I'm looking for a yellow one by three flat, because that's what you need to finish the ship. I need a yellow one by three flat. It has to be the flat one. And then at some point you realize there's none left, so you take a one by six flat and you cut it in half with your mom's scissors. And then you finish the ship and you fly around and you fly around all night. And you know what's perfect? You made the ship a good size. It's too small for G.I. Joe, but it's perfect for mask.
Hello, welcome to the prison prom. Hey, you going to the prison prom? Ah, if you don't, I'll shiv you, bitch. I've been sharpening my toothbrush for a week, thinking about asking you out, you know? So seriously, you want to go? I've been here for white-collar crabs, but I've learned to kill. You know what it sounds like when there's a fire? Check it. It fucking sucks, dude. It's like I wake up, and instead of being like, shit, there's a fire, I'm like, shut up, that sucks. Yeah, twice. Double it. Uh, yeah, if it's worth doing, watch. You might as well double it, guys. Single it, double it. Yeah, you did. It was a double record yeah. originally on, uh, it's on uh, digital media. Yeah, it was at 44, 1, 16. 16 I mean, bits. Yeah, yeah, it was 16 bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, every second there's about 44,100 uh, samples. I mean, really, it's technically just super fast sampling. I mean, basically, it's uh, really fast hip hop, really. Seriously, Terminator X, he doesn't sample that much in a song. Rapper is 44,100 samples a second. Big racist Ray-Ban wearing fucking cataract surgery motherfucker. Man, I, like I love fucking Terminator <laughs> X, but let's seriously call him out. That's a buster he is. Terminator, check it. My boys sample faster. I wasn't talking about Chris X for the Danielson family. I was talking about Chris from Planet X, and I'm not talking about Chris Salico, which to this day I still call Sal because uh, Chris, who the fuck is Chris? Chris is my middle name. Chris is a girl's name. I don't know Chris. I know Sal. I know Sal carries a fucking gun. Chris Salico, a.k.a. Sal from Race Bannon Rapper, he carries a fucking gun. He's a nice guy, so I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid that he's going to shoot my fucking face off when I tell him that seriously. Your girlfriend likes Ghostbusters, and that's hot to me. <laughs> really hot. Thank you, man. Well, <laughs> I'm on the website. If you, if anyone out there wants to go to uh, ghostbusterprops.com, type in Dr. Zespi. My password is Mr. Pants. I never had an official profile, but let's just say their ectopacks are sweet, but they really don't know how to build a PKE meter. Ghostbusters 3 in the works. It's going to happen. Not worried about it. Someone may die here and there, but uh, Bill Murray be around. Chris Farley was going to be in it. He was fat. He died. His own vomit. I saw it. Rotten.com was disgusting. But uh, he's not going to be in the new movie. Buried him. Had to. Dead, you know. You have to be buried to be dead, son. Double it. No, no, don't quote obscure movies from before we were born. Let's talk about a sleepover. Are you sleeping yet? I'm touching you. Are you sleeping yet? I'm touching you. Are you sleeping yet? I'm touching you. Somebody's coming over in a couple minutes with beers he stole from his dad. We're going to smell them and get fucked up and say ridiculous things into our four track, which is amazing because you flip the tape over, smoke weed, it's great. Seriously, you ever you ever use the uh, golden uh, you know golden retriever movie hound guide? It's a good way to really find out uh, the movies before you go to the movie store. Because when I get there, I don't even know what to look for. But if uh, if I look at the good old retriever, mine's from 1996. It's true, it's a little out of date. But you know, Steel Magnolia, there's a review in there. I knew it was crap before I even got there. <laughs> yeah, I love DVD. It's there's all this extra stuff that couldn't be there otherwise. You know, if it was on VHS. Well, I, you know, I don't, when it's done, my, it, the tape spits itself out, and I know it. If it doesn't, then I, I fall asleep, and then I hear this loud rewinding noise. Until it stops. But DVD, there's extra. Hey, look at that. Hey, I got a new split seven-inch out. Oh, fuck. Moshi, Moshi and the Moshis. I got that one. Well, well yeah, I can't, it's, I it's, a, just a, it's a phrase. It's just a fucking phrase. You think if we smoked in here, Dad would know? Rapper does rapper. Rapper means fast. If you have an eighth grade education, you make up words on your fucking notebook. Rapper means fast. Rapper does everything fast, as far as I've I've heard. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, interrupt if you know where it's going. You know what I mean? Rip Van Winkle, Rob Van Winkle. They both bore me. I'm ripping off Leon Redbow because I used to tour with him. It's all out of love. 
I'm convinced that he had sex, had a child, that child had a child, that child had a friend, ween. Fredster, Fredster, have you been on Fredster? You make a profile, you check the gallery, you mark single, and what do you got left? 100% opportunity. And I actually had sex for the first time because of Fredster. It's true. It's true. It was in a van. Mike was there getting ready for church, putting on his tie, tuck, tucking things in, making sure that uh, things were prepared for Jesus. I was preparing to fucking, seriously, I was, well, I was calling out to God. Pass it over to Carnival Pants. I'm drinking high C and vodka. I'm like a pedophile in my throat. Why isn't a rapper named Max L? It should be Max L. Yo, I'm Max L. Dub me. Name my record is High Speed. Yo, Max L. High Speed Dub me. One, two, three, stripes on my legs. One, two, three, stripes on my legs. One, two, three, stripes on my legs. Chris Saligo. I only know your name because of a contract we signed. <laughs> this mustache is a pain in the ass. What's up with the running pants? You got uh, you got uh, some jersey ideas. Look at you. Oh, I'm in soccer. No, that's Sal's role in the band. What the fuck are you wearing it for? To grab your nads easier? Hey, man, you got a contaminant? What's that? Do you have a I mean, cold? I I have nothing to give you that hasn't been uh, held. <laughs> yeah, I need a contaminant. It's a, it's a guitar cabinet. Oh, you need a place to put your guitar. Well, I, I prefer the gig bag. Hey, man, you got a contaminant? What's that? Uh, I need a contaminant. Oh, uh, do you need a tablet? Are you sick? No, it's a, it's a guitar cabinet. Come on. Oh, like, we're uh, guitar cabinet. Well, you, yeah, you, to... if you're playing a show, that's what you need. You, you play it through a speaker. Are you into dudes? Hell no. That she said the dumbest things I ever heard come out of a person's mouth short of I like 311. It was close to the I like 311, but it was fucking dye your hair. Check it out. At the drive-in, my favorite band. If you could do that, I'd have sex with you. We didn't kiss. Isn't it weird that I walked into a show and I was like, hey guys, I want to be your bass player. We don't want to have a bass player. I want to be your piano player. We don't want to have a piano player. I think you're great. <laughs> no! This is Caterpillar. First, I'm going to put away my time issue that's got the passion that deserves the enterprise. This is this is uh, Mandela, the prison years. That's a real bummer. But if you look at it on the cover, it's not Mandela. It's actually Shatner and Patrick Stewart doing Star Trek, the passion that drives the enterprise. I've got an issue with that. It's, uh, it's been uh, completely uh, yes, maintained. But over here... On uh, top of my Scully uh, 250 or 280, it doesn't work, never has. It's a giant piece of furniture. I've got the Burger King issue of the Star Wars cars where only give it away. I have an uncut sheet. Past that, I've got beautiful Princess Leia done in uh, some sort of uh, beautiful... It's done with paint pen. Oh. Over here, I have a Leia done in charcoal, which isn't, it's too obscure and not sexy enough to be worthwhile for, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we keep turning the pages. We see different has solo ideas, different ideas, yeah, for, you know, his outfits. It was different, because they originally, they were like, he's a scoundrel, he needs a dirtier outfit. They didn't know that his gum should be strapped to his knee and not as, a, you know, in a regular holster. Uh, but luckily, <laughs> luckily, luckily they figured it out that it should be a, a holster on his leg. And then we get to the Star Wars cards, which are all right, but Star Wars, as we know, is bland. It's just a setup for the glorious piece that is uh, Empire Strikes Back. The cards are better. Let me let me recite from Movie Facts, uh, number 127. Let's turn the card over. I'm going to describe the card to you. On that side of the card, it actually says, Luke battling Darth. And we turn the card over, and it's going to tell us something about what's actually happening in the scene that is captured in said piece of beautiful 80s cardboard. What it actually said, I need some light here. It says, spacecraft, this year's model. It has nothing to do with the card on the other side, but it's fine. It's going to explain to us what happens in this universe. Hey, Brain Strikes Back, Movie Facts number 127. Back from Star Wars on the Millennium Falcon X-Wing of the TIE Fighters and Imperial Destroyers, but new spaceships are appearing. The Empire Strikes Back includes the execution of the Darth Vader's enormous vessel and Boba Fett's Slave One. 128, I recite. The truth about Darth. Darth uh, in Star Wars. He was once a Jedi Knight. 
one of Obi-Wan's students before being seduced by the dark side of the Force. Surely intrigued by battle, he uh, is outfitted in a life-supporting armor. It's, you know, it's, it's basically, I mean, they don't say it in the card, but I'll tell you right now, he's a cyborg. The life-supporting armor from head to toe. From head to toe means uh, his toes need supporting also in the cybernetic <laughs> field. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. You can catch a glimpse of what Darth uh, Vader truly looks like. And later, later in Return of the Jedi, you find out he's a fat old white man and not a glorious black man named James Earl Jones who supplied the voice. He's actually a crappy actor who was in the shitty suit and sweat a lot, so they put him in it. But he's white and bald. It's not so hot. But seriously, Empire's the best.